Hello and welcome everyone. It is Wednesday, the 29th of May. We have a rock submission from one of our Patreon um, supporters, our rock hound supporters. And we're going to just jump right into this. The video that we're looking at today, crew, does not have any audio. So we can start talking immediately on what we see. I will tell you this, I believe, was found in, in or around Guadalajara, uh, Mexico. By the way, anytime you see something on the screen in black uh, over white right now, it is uh, it's taken from the narrative from our, our, our Spanish submitter. One thing that I thought was unique is look at how the matrix is shiny. I, I thought that's very notable. Maybe someone who's more knowledgeable uh, can talk about that later. But that's one thing that originally stood out to me when we normally see metallic shine, but we're seeing silicate shine. Yeah, it's silica. I, I really tried very hard to see what the submitter was talking about when he was calling out fusion crust and flow lines. I really don't see any flow lines, nor do I see any fusion crust. Does, does anyone, and, and Pat, I'm sorry, um, you're, you can feel free to take yourself off mute. I, I noticed you're on. Okay, yeah, the, 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 what we would call matrix there in the first picture looked a lot like hematite. Okay. And the brown what, stuff what? looks like a weathering rind. This this stuff right here you're saying it looks like weathering rain? Yes. Okay, thank you. Ooh, now that Pat says that, I have to agree. And the, the white stuff looks like silica. And, and there are some at-home tests that the viewer could do to help eliminate some of those speculations that we're making, you know, some streak tests, mm -hmm. some, a window would be nice. Um, things like that, that would help be more definitive. But yeah, I kind of, am, I'm leaning on Pat's first diagnosis there, I think. Okay. Thank you. Now there, from what I gather, there was, this thing was found in, and I don't see flow lines there either, to be quite honest with you. Um, this was found, uh, a single, uh, a single rock found in like uh, six to eight pieces. So in a little bit of the video, you, you'll you'll see a different video he sent where he's actually putting the pieces together and we get to see them. I thought this was very telling right here. Just the last few seconds. And then when we come into, I'm surprised these weren't called out as flow lines in a second. That right there. Yeah, that looks more like brittle fracture marks lines brittle fracture okay i would assume that possibly the viewer would be comparing this again to a breccia does anybody have a lunar breccia or something that we could show in comparison to this yeah I, i'll actually poof we just edited one in right now oh i <laughs> love that yeah i love that that's very helpful because if i had to guess i would assume that's what type they were assuming they had found mm -hmm. this was this was noted out he's narrating right now this was the the front obviously when it came through but I, i'm really not seeing uh any signs of orientation is is anyone nope no no nope. no no not at all no regma glyphs no crust no flow lines no no metal blebs. Yes. Yeah. No that's chondrules. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's that's a great thing. Thank you, Ben. Um, there, these may be thought to be chondrules, but there are no chondrules in achondrites, and lunar is an achondrite. So you can't have both. You have to pick one or the other. And I'm not seeing any chondrules here with, with the with the crew as well. Well, even if they're typical inclusions that you see on a lunar breccia, usually they're sharp and angular, right? Yes, usually they're angular, yeah. And those aren't. Mm -hmm. so this is the uh, the jigsaw being put back together with these pieces. Okay. So sometimes in weathered MWA meteorites, we see deep cracks like that. You were talking about a weathering, a potential weathering, and you and, uh, and Allison, you can like see that here. That is not fusion crust. 
Uh, we, we talk about maybe there's like burnt marshmallow colored fusion crust on some lunars. That is extremely rare and very delicate. It would not be crusty and crunchy like this. I also concur with the shiny parts uh, that don't, you really don't see that on meteorites. So. Thank you. Um, now we do have uh, Jennifer Hobo uh, in the audience as well. She would love to get some of these pieces right here. These next two, I thought when I was editing this, I thought about you putting those on your lap and finishing them up because this, this is actually a pretty stone. It's got, it's got some good stuff going on in there. It is pretty. <laughs> Look at that. There's, I mean, there's a lot going on in there. Yeah, and I suppose someone could assume that those were chondrules and the, the first photo that you showed that showed sort of the hematite matrix, you know, if you squint they, and look sideways, they could look like chondrules, but I'm not seeing any real chondrule structure in these. That mm -hmm. looks porphyritic. Wow, very good, Jennifer. I'll, you, wow! My opinion after I looked at his submission was a porphyritic basalt of terrestrial nature and it does look really shiny um uh, he did he did say that he polished uh some parts of it looks so like it. The, the the parts we were seeing rotating earlier were 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 um polished mm -hmm. but yeah just the the exterior doesn't look meteoritic um the, I, I oh i i put a a freeze frame on there just so we can make sure that we call these out as not being flow lines no um the fusion crust would have to be transparent and and for those to be flow lines and i'm not seeing that at all i think another possible interpretation on this thing is a concretion given all of the hematite and all of the corroded looking stuff okay well we i really 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 wish that we had um mike Kelly back in the crew. Uh, he's <laughs> off doing what he needs to do for his family right now, but he's going to be back real soon. Uh, he's our on-staff geologist, and he would uh, have a lot more intelligent things to say. But I think as a group, a panel of meteorite experts, we're looking at this, and I don't think anyone here in the crew has any, uh, even a, a 2% chance in their mind that this is a meteorite. Am I speaking correctly for everyone? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I like what Jennifer had to say as well. That was really on point, Jennifer. This is an earth rock. Now it is a very interesting one. This view of it here, you know, those, the little individual bodies on there do at a very rough scale look kind of chondral like, but I'm convinced they're not chondrules. Yeah. Of course, it is an altered basalt because everything is helter skelter. Nothing, uh, it, it seems to, uh, represent that it was liquid at one time or plastic and then it solidified or coalesced. It just doesn't uh, say meteorite to me and it just says like it's an altered basalt. Crew, thank you so much for your input. I appreciate your feedback on this one. Um, we're not 100% sure what kind of terrestrial rock it is, but we are, we are all convinced 100% that it is not uh, a meteorite. So, hey, if you would like to get your uh, rock submission looked at and 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 honestly, you know, looked at by by a panel of collectors who are very experienced, there's tons of years of experience between us all, and uh, we're looking, we're waiting, we're hoping, we're trying to help you find a real meteorite because that's our end goal. We don't like telling people they don't have a meteorite, but we're also basing our feedback on science. So, thanks a lot, guys, and have a great week.